Hi everybody, welcome back. And if this is your first time here, welcome. It's great to have you. So today I'm making a recipe for all my gluten-free friends out there. It's a gluten-free oatmeal cake. Now it has a nice topping on it that has some coconut and pecans and some brown sugar. And the cake itself is nice and moist, not something you usually see in a gluten-free cake. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. Let's go over the ingredients of this delicious cake so we can get started. All right, we're gonna need some quick cooking oats, which I have here, and gluten-free flour, which I picked up from Trader Joe's. It works really well in this recipe. So if you have access to that, go ahead and, and use that, or just any you know gluten-free flour that's good for general baking will work as well. I have some honey here that was uh, from the farmer's market, so it's raw. Butter from grass-fed cows, some brown sugar, a couple of eggs, ground cinnamon, salt, baking powder, baking soda, and a little bit of xanthan gum, which you're gonna need for gluten-free baking because you don't have the, uh, the, the gluten in there for elasticity. The xanthan gum will help keep your, give some structure to your cake and keep it from crumbling apart. We'll need some coconut oil and some vanilla extract. Now for our delicious topping, we need some shredded coconut. I have a little bit of milk here you can use you know, this is non-fat milk. You can use whatever you have. It, anything will work. Uh, I have some pecans here that we can either toast up or you can just use them as is and we're going to chop them up. Brown sugar, a little more butter, and a little more cinnamon. So we're going to start off by preparing our uh, baking dish for our cake. So I got a 9 by 13 here and I'm just grabbing some coconut oil with my clean hands and I'm just going to rub it into, you know, all on the bottom and the sides of the dish. Did you know that coconut oil stays a solid up to 76 degrees Fahrenheit? So besides preheating the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, I boiled some water and now I'm gonna add the boiling water to the oatmeal. And what we're gonna do here is just let this sit for 20 minutes and it will absorb the water and soften them up. We're gonna add the following dry ingredients to a bowl so that we can combine everything together. So that's the gluten-free flour. Here's the baking soda and the baking powder, the xanthan gum, the salt, and the cinnamon. So we'll just give that a good stir to combine it all. Now I'm at the mixer and we're gonna start uh, creaming our butter, which I'm adding to the mixer here. And I'm gonna cream this up a little bit before I add the brown sugar. Now we'll add the brown sugar to this. Now once it gets nice and fluffy like that, we're going to add the eggs. And the vanilla extract. Now we're going to mix this up until it's combined. Alright, now that that's all mixed in nicely, we're going to add the honey. Now this is probably the hardest part, getting that honey in the bowl because it's so sticky. Here's our oatmeal that's been soaking for 20 minutes. You can see how it's absorbed all of the water and it's kind of kind of sticky as well. So now we're going to add that to our mix. Now it's time to add our flour mixture. Now you're going to want to scrape down the bowl at least once to get all the flour, make sure it's all in there. And we're going to pour this into our prepared dish. If you need to push it to the ends, go ahead and just take your spatula and kind of spread it out. This is going to go in the oven for about 40 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. All right, guys, here is the cake after 40 minutes. Let's take a toothpick and see how it is. All right, it came out clean except for that one little speck, but hey, it's ready. So I'm gonna leave it right here to cool 
and we're gonna make our topping. So before we can put our topping together, we're gonna chop up the pecans and we're gonna chop them up fairly fine. Okay, now we're ready for the hard part. No, just kidding. Here we go. We're gonna make the topping. All we have to do is take our butter, it's already practically melted anyway, and place it in the saucepan. I'm gonna put it over low heat and I'm gonna start off by melting that. Then we're gonna add the brown sugar. Now we're ready to add the brown sugar and I'm just gonna stir this until it just gets mixed in and then we'll add all of the other ingredients. Now I'm gonna add the coconut, the cinnamon, the nuts, and the milk. Now I've turned it up to medium low and I'm gonna let this simmer for just a little bit to kind of thicken up. Okay, I'm just gonna spoon this out onto the cake and just spread a thin layer over the whole thing. Now remember, I've got the oven on broil and I dropped the rack down to like the second lowest. I wish you guys could smell this cake right now. It smells amazing in my kitchen. I just love the smell. I can smell the cinnamon. It's the toasted um, pecans. Oh, it just smells fabulous. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clip, cut into this. Here we go. This is fantastic, guys. So delicious. I've got me a nice glass of milk right here, which it goes perfect with. Delicious, delicious, delicious. That's all I can say. You gotta try it. You know, if you know anybody who is gluten-free and wants a fantastic dessert, share the video with them, please. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you haven't subscribed, you know what to do, right? Click the button up there and you'll be notified every week of a new video coming out. And give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know how you like this. Try it out. Share it with your friends and give me a thumbs up. Thanks, everybody. I'm going to go eat my dessert and my milk. See you next time.